So no video would be complete without our episode of Manly Manners, Don'ts for Husbands. So I, I skipped over, I'm going to skip over a couple here because they were talking about, uh, you know, don't drop your coal tongs on the tile and stop sharpening your pencils on the carpet. I mean, things that I just don't really think relate. And I'll skip to something that's a little bit more interesting. All right. So Manly Manners tells us here, don't delegate the carving to your wife on the plea that you can't carve. We're talking about carving the, uh, the dinner goose or bird or fowl or something. You should be ashamed to own that you can't do a little thing like that as well as a woman can. It is just laziness on your part. Besides, a man ought to take the head of his own table. A man ought to take the head of his own table. Now, do you, as a, as a man, do you sit at the head of the table or do, do you, is that, is that, is that uh, do you use that or, or is that a symbol of your authority um, as head of your household in the house? Um, I grew up in a house that, uh, it, that, that was certainly the traditions, a very, cons you know, very conservative, very traditional, uh, house. Um, and that's something that I've brought into my, my home as well. Um, th this is probably, uh, um, well, I'm just going to say it. Um, so Mrs. W was interesting. We, we had a conversation, uh, just the other day. Um, she is reading a book, uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, Mrs. W is, uh, we homeschool. And she is um, a, a, a just went through a huge process of becoming a certified teacher for classical conversation. She's going to be teaching Latin and a couple other subjects this year. And she's put a ton of work into this. And so she has uh, been listening and doing a lot of reading. And, and one of the w women that uh, has, has written quite a bit on this and has been involved with this classical conversations uh, was talking about being subservient, be, being subservient subservient, is that the right word, uh, to, her, to her husband uh, as a biblical principle. Uh, the good book tells us that uh, the man is the head of the household um, and the woman's job is to um, be a helpmate uh, to, to their husband. What's kind of interesting is if you get into that, a lot of people take that the wrong way. And there's been a lot of really bad men that have um, used this uh, to be domineering and just uh, tyrants in their homes. And that's not at all what the intent was. Uh, whenever you have um, a business or uh, let's say uh, you, you have to have someone that's lead, a leader, you have to have um, you have to have someone that is making the decisions. Uh, partnerships. If you've ever been in a partnership, an equal partnership in business with someone, there's a saying that says the only ship that won't sail is a partnership. It's very difficult. You may go in with the very best of intentions, but when one person starts to deviate and go a different direction, it's, it comes to loggerheads and, and the whole thing usually ends up being dissolved and grinding to a halt. It just doesn't work. You need to have, someone needs to be uh, making the, calling the shots and, and making the decision. And so this what's kind of interesting is that this woman uh, is talk was talking about um, when your husband comes to, home from work and, and he uh, has been working all day and he's tired. Uh, she being a homemaker, um, that this this woman stated that it would it's wrong for you to to, to sit down um, and to what if he's sitting watching TV and do the same thing that he does. That you should be busy uh, because you have been put here to be his helpmate. And uh, Ms. we were having an interesting conversation about that. So Mrs. W asked me what I thought about that. And, and I thought, well, I guess, I, I guess it depends. Okay, it, it depends on two things. So if, um, if you are a traditional household and you're, you're, you, uh, the man's going out and, and he is going to a job um, and coming home uh, and the wife is a homemaker, uh, that, that's a tough call because I have been left home with the kids a couple times. And, I, and to be honest with you, I'm not very good at it. I, I mean, it's so much harder. It's so much harder to run a house. It's, I mean, it's just so much busier and, and it's exhausting to run a house and to do laundry and keep the house clean and, and put three meals a day. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Given a choice, I, I, mean, I would rather go work in a salt mine for 12 hours a day than to do that. So, um, how do I feel that when I come home and, and I'm kicked back in my Lamino chair with my footstool and, and have a nice cold drink that, uh, that to Mrs. W should be uh, bowing and scraping and waiting on me hand and foot? No, um, I don't think so. Um, but I do, I guess I do have an expectation of, of that, um, 
I, I need to have support. To be able to do the work that I do, I need to be, uh, be fed and, and to, um, it, it's a partnership. So does the work, if the work is ended for me, is the work necessarily ended for Mrs. W? Not necessarily. With that being said, I think it's really important to be very sensitive uh, to the emotional state uh, of your wife. If you see that the kids have been really um, trying, uh, that maybe she's you know really struggling or, or has had just really a rough day, um, I'm going to I'm going to keep a, be very aware of that um, and make corrections. Um, several times I, I've come in, I can see that she's you know she's exhausted. She's had uh, she's had a trouble with the kids. Um, I'll step up and say, hey, you know what? How about this? How about why don't we we drive down to town and we go out for pizza or you know what, how about I, uh, I'll cook some pasta. I'm not the best cook, but I can, I can throw some pasta in some hot water. So I think it's really important to, yes, if all things go, go perfectly, if I'm out working and I, you know, I'll, my typical work day is 12 hours or so. Um, when I come in, do I expect um, uh, to be looked after a little bit? I, I guess I do. Yeah, I guess I, you know, at least be, being fed, that's that sort of thing. But um, also, um, I want to be sure to remember that I, even, even though that I am the head of my household, <clears throat> I want to be fair and be um, a servant leader uh, and make sure that um, I don't abuse that authority uh, that I have and uh, make sure that uh, my job is to make sure that my wife is taken care of and that she's not being overworked and, and overwhelmed. Um, and I guess that's the way I look at it. So. Well, that'll ruffle some feathers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.